hey guys it's me renaissance marie austin and welcome back to my channel fiber style tv so of course i am at my storage i just wanted to do a video to show you guys my vintage trunk okay i'm literally writing out a whole blog article about this trunk i think um what I've been able to research as well as how it came into my possession is a really cool story in itself. Okay, so let's take a look. So I'm starting with it open and this is a four drawer. The largest drawer is at the bottom, medium size in the middle, and then you have like another smaller size and then a smaller, smaller size. So there's a lot that can fit in there. It's so very interesting, um, these trunks and how they would go on to steamer ships and all of that. Actually, when there's nothing inside of it, it's not as heavy as it seemed like it would be. Um, this side is where you will put your hangables. <laughs> so there are five. Um, hangers here and this is interesting how you can pull it up and they come right out and then you just slide it back in and it hangs there now I am assuming that there probably was some other type of rack here that would connect um, but I didn't receive it with that on it I have um, placed this trunk around 1920, 1921. It is um, an RH Macy & Co. Incorporated of New York. This little sticker here says genuine hard vulcanized trunk fiber. And you know, I, I'm still in the draft mode of this article that I'm writing about this trunk but I really have to come back here see this is compartmentalized a lot of little stuff down there that needs to be vacuumed out <laughs> but the top drawer has like a section and then the other drawers are just uh, fully open as you can see this has like the basic blue i know there are a lot of trunks that you would see online where people have put in um newspaper of the time it's almost like paper mache they've um or like wallpaper and there are different patterns and different things like that that you will find sometimes on the inner part of the chest but mine is a nice calming blue so then you have this curtain which comes down and you will basically do that before it closes <laughs> it's not really much else to see which I will close it by the lock then this is what we have. So when I was doing my research, I realized that there might have been some things that I could have missed. And I did for as many years as I've had this. I came back and realized that on this, <laughs> I'm turning sideways, but this is going to end up being sideways. There is a engraving here that shows the Everlast Lock Company. This lock is D60. So I already did a little bit of research on the popular lock companies of that time and Everlast was definitely one of them. So I would assume that they provided the brass, the lock the whole lock and brass system here the fixtures and closures and all of that so 
yeah unfortunately the little leather handle i didn't receive it with um the handle it was already like this when it came into my possession but otherwise i have used this horizontally i've used it um, vertically to put my magazines on i've had it in my boutique had it in my home um it's been a great piece of furniture for me and um, now I'm ready to part with it <laughs> um, because as I've stated if you haven't already heard the news I'm starting a new job as a flight attendant and I will be flying so there's also no need for me to like really keep things that I'm just not going to probably use ever again in my storage. So this is what makes this trunk really interesting. Edward E. Gurian and Co. Boy, have I found some information about, <clears throat> excuse me, this company. They're based out of Chicago, Illinois. And I believe that this trunk was shipped to Los Angeles around 1962. I really do not know that, but I know that this company who manufactured um, radio accessories, car accessories, they are featured in the um, Western Aviation magazine or pamphlet of 1962 and there was a Pacific Electric trade show in which they were exhibitors and their name is in the list of exhibitors of course this apartment building 847 South Alvarado Street Los Angeles is still standing it's still around I will see about connecting how this trunk came into the possession of my neighbor, Miss Josephine Holloway. I don't want to give the story away, you guys. <laughs> when I post this video, I'm going to um, include the link to the blog article so that you guys can just see what it was like for me as a little girl and, you know, meeting this new neighbor when I was six years old and, um, and also this beautiful woven piece. So let me show you, I've just taken photos of it. So guys, there were a couple of things inside of this chest when it came into my possession. This was one of them, amazing. You can imagine me opening this up and being like, oh my gosh, this beautiful woven skirt, very petite and jacket with this felt embroidery this felt embellishment obviously there's cactus obviously we have probably um some mexico like also negro afro mexico we have various skin colors on our people here from dark to light same thing on um the jacket and also it's a beautiful scenery on the back of the jacket donkey we have a little donkey and perhaps a mexican man maybe we have a sky we have some birds very 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 pretty with some houses and it looks like he has the he has him by the, the rope or, you know, I'm not really sure how to call anything, but you know, the little harness around the mouth and then the rope and he's, it seems like the donkey's being a little defiant. He's trying to get him up the hill based on the way the, <laughs> the embroidery is for like the grass. It looks like it's a little incline and he's trying to get him up the hill. So, um, but then also at the same time we have, He's picking flowers. We have the flowers. The pink that's on the ground is also the same pink that's in his basket over his shoulder. Um, so yeah, very, very interesting. I also found a vintage 
newspaper, which I've misplaced. But you know, well, hold on. Let me see if I can find it. I okay, guys, I could not find it. Interesting. Um, who knows? Maybe it will come up someday, somewhere. But um, yeah, but that woven skirt and jacket is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to do a little bit more research on that. But for now, that is my vintage chest. I'm going to go ahead and close it off. See if I could do it with one hand. It's <laughs> one. There's no key. I didn't get a key or anything. Um, like that's supposed to close in there. But there's no key for this. And do the bottom one. And there it is. <sighs> there it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're into vintage items and you have something to say, leave it below in the comment section. But also, let's make sure my lighting's good. This is good. <laughs> but also, um, click the link in the description. I would love for you guys to read the story about this trunk and how it's connected to an old neighbor who I just found out if there's no death records that she's 99 years old okay that's all I'm giving away God bless and I'll see you in the next video be sure to share like and subscribe to fiber style TV and thank you again for being an amazing subscriber I love you and I will see you soon okay bye